You're on the commission, correct? Yeah. I got a question for you. Um, have you ever consumed an illegal substance? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. You're on the commission, correct? Yeah. I've got a question for you. Um, have you ever consumed an illegal substance? You know, um, that's really not... I'm not interested in, in um, answering questions. Well, if you, if you haven't, or if you have, oh, uh, to what extent is this commission focused on punishing people for uh, using illegal substances? Actually, I think this commission is very focused on helping people, not punishment. Uh, certainly, there's an accountability in terms of motivating people towards getting help. Sometimes that is involved with the legal system. But more than ever, I think that we're finally getting uh, an understanding that chemical dependency is a disease and that we need to get its treatment. Can you name a member of the commission who advocates the decriminalization position? Um, I don't think there is, that, to my knowledge, anybody on the commission that is really advocating uh, decriminalization. The opposite of decriminalization or anything other than decriminalization means continuing to arrest people, right? Uh, well, again, there are maybe sanctions related to people having recreational marijuana. Um, I mean, we do have to have cannabis here in the state. Um, and there are ways, you know, certainly for people to, if, who need it, to be able to use it effectively. And, you know, and your sign was, I couldn't see it. What was your name? Uh, Tim Lena. Okay, Ms. Lena? Lena? Okay, Mr. Lena, thanks for your time. Yep. Take care. Uh, Ms. Savage, please tell me if I misunderstood what you were saying in there, but it sounded like you were advocating collecting data on... Can I ask who I'm talking to? Oh, it's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. It's like a poor man's TV station. Oh, okay. But uh, it sounded like you were advocating collecting data on people who sign up for medical marijuana dispensaries. Is that correct? Um, we de-identified data to understand whether the intervention is helpful to them, not helpful to them, what side effects they may be experiencing, what changes in medication they might um, find they need, or medications they've added or dropped. Whatever the data is, though, who would be collecting it? The authorities? Um, it, DHHS is... Oh, what authorities are you referring to? Either the state government or local governments. Um, the Department of Health and Human Services has been charged by the legislation with tracking data. Right now they're using large epidemiologic databases. But as you may be aware, cannabis is an ancient intervention. It hasn't been used in contemporary times. So we don't, and marijuana has changed over time, and marijuana differs from one batch to the other. It's, it's a complex herbal remedy. And so I think what we need is more research and understanding of what's effective for people and not effective for people, what some of the side effects or risks may be, and what some of the benefits may be. The only way to get that information is to observe people who are using it and um, collect data. So One of the it would concerns, be de-identified, not by name, it would be by, by a de-identified... Unless condition. there were an abuse of the system. I'm sorry? Unless there were an abuse of the system. If the, the system were abused, then names could be added, correct? If this, like if someone... There, but if this it, is legal use, so... Well, I mean, that's one of the fears that people have of signing on to the legal use of marijuana in New Hampshire is that they will go into a government database, you know, be spied on. Unfortunately, there's a lot of stigma associated with the use of controlled substances anyway. I think patients who use opioid medications also experience a lot of stigma. I think it's really important for us not to stigmatize people who are seeking treatments for their health. Okay, okay. Ms. Savage, Thank thanks you. for your time. Yeah. I mean, Dr. Savage, that's I right. apologize. It's not a problem. Thank you very much. No, nope. can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. 
a true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at lrn.fm to listen or broadcast their signal. lrn.fm Feds don't want you to hear them.